Now it is time for Retirement Ready, sponsored by Fidelity Investments. And today we're talking about investing in the period of COVID here, specifically how to look at retirement savings and potentially protect your savings against any recession-related volatility. We are joined by Alex Reffitt, who is the group principal or principal and co-founder with East Paces Group, joining us from Atlanta today. Alex, it's good to have you on today. You know, when we're talking about protecting your portfolio or your, or your retirement savings against any kind of volatility, but it seems like we've had nothing but volatility the last two months. I mean, what have you been telling your clients um, as we've seen the market moves related directly to the pandemic. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, one of the primary things we do with clients is make sure they're prepared for things like this, you know, especially if they're approaching retirement. So really, it's just more of a, an emotional counsel because you've certainly got buckets of your portfolio that are going to be exposed to, to that degree of volatility. Um, so you really just want to make sure we're making rational decisions in periods like that. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to be fire selling your investments a couple months ago when we had periods where the market was swinging 10, 11, 12 percent a day. Um, so really, it's just more of a behavioral counsel because we feel like we've done a pretty good job with the allocation part going into it. Because uh, these kind of things just happen. You got to be ready for them. So we've made it through, you know, these huge swings. Right. And now we. Um, things are different. We're getting all this economic data. The market's still doing really well. You've noted that uh, Gen Xers and boomers are kind of the most fragile in this environment. What do you say to somebody who calls and says, I just I, I just think this is going to take a really long time. I, I, I don't think that the market's appreciating where we are. And I would like to to step back. I, I just think this is going to go down. Do you counsel somebody to stay in the market that you need to be invested? Or are there people where you're like, okay, I get it. Let's go to the side here right now since we've gotten through this. So most of our management is done very actively. So we'll make pretty aggressive moves, even a cash at times where we think that risk levels are elevated. So, so certainly if it calls for it, we'll, we'll do it. Um, but, you know, those Gen Xers, those boomers that are, have just retired or approaching retirement, what I've told many of them, especially new clients, is that, you know, now is a great time. Uh, the Fed took some pretty aggressive measures to intervene here and has really helped stabilize the market. I mean, we're, we're within 10 percent of where we started at the beginning of the year. So now is a really good time to evaluate if you were doing some things, um, you know, that, that probably weren't prudent for uh, surviving this kind of volatility or an extended recession. Now is a good time to be making changes. You know, 35 <laughs> percent ago, it was kind of hard to you know, really making any drastic changes to your portfolio. You were kind of stuck in it. You needed to ride it out. But but now we're at a time where you can actually make some strategic rebalances, fix any errors that you may have had or over allocations you may have had and, um, and just rejuvenate your portfolio to, to be prepared for what may be um, a, a long winded healing process for the economy. And to that point, since you are active and sometimes you, you say like, if you need to, you do do a bigger cash position. I guess, what are you, what are you thinking right now? We have so many um, people that come on the show and say, gosh, this market doesn't make any sense with the economic data we're getting. Sure. Well, uh, there's a couple things. One, I mean, I, I certainly think that um, oftentimes people conflate things like unemployment with the markets, um, you know, which isn't necessarily something that's, that's going to don't work in sync. I mean, companies have, have shown that they're willing to lay off employees in favor of retaining profitability. So companies are actually likely to be able to perform a little bit better than people expect, even while they're laying people off. So it really kind of comes to a, you know, their priority and their duty to shareholders. So um, I, I think it's in, in certain cases, uh, another thing we think is that, you know, we're obviously in a long-term tech bull market. So different industries are obviously having very different experiences right now. Um, you know, you can obviously see the difference between the NASDAQ this year and the Dow this year. Um, so there's certainly opportunities out there, certainly companies that are much more nimble and able to, to handle this type of recession, this type of uh, change in, in workers' lifestyle uh, better than others. Um, okay, Alex Ruffett, principal and co-founder with East Paces Group. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me.